This dusty old appliance is called a television. Once upon a time, patrons would gather around in droves to be perplexed and entertained by this astonishing moving picture device. This cute little technological wonder is called a computer. Equipped with an endless deluge of entertainment and media called the internet, it began stealing the eyes and hearts of the avid TV watchers. Abandoned and alone, what can we do to make this optical opiate for the masses relevant again? It needs to be connected, pumped full of internet content. Now, yes, there have been attempts at this through the limited functionality of smart TVs and the set-top box route with their high entry-level cost and narrow compatibility range. Aren't there any better, cheaper options that can revive this large little idiot box? No, there's not. That's it for this tutorial. For more good... No, I'm just kidding. In Google's attempt to smarten up internet list TVs, they've created a $35 HDMI dongle called a Chromecast. This mini computer plugs into your TV and allows you to stream content from any Chrome web browser, Android device, and now even some Apple devices. Why would Google do this? The same reason they do everything. To collect more data and to sell you more ads. But what if you don't want to shell out the $35 to the search giant because you just blew your gadget fund on a new Android device? Well, using the free Chromecast app, you can make your Android device act like a Chromecast and stream stuff to it. Then all you need to do is figure out how to connect it to your TV and boom, free Chromecast. Not an Android fan? Well, the RPlay app will turn your iOS device into a Chromecast emulator also. And if you have an HDMI adapter, this can be a free Chromecast alternative as well. So here you have your computer or iOS or Android support for streaming. But isn't there a cheap way to stream all these options? Well, yes, but keeping it cheap means it's going to require more work. And the best option to accomplish all this is to purchase a $35 Raspberry Pi. Not that one, this one. With this small little Linux computer, you can install Xbox Media Center and tweak it so that it emulates an Apple TV, allowing you to stream to it from all your Apple devices. For Android, you can install apps like Yahtzee to push video to your TV. And on your PC, you can install the XBMC browser plugin to stream YouTube videos to it. I know that's a lot of different options, but hopefully between all of them you can find a cheap way to turn your TV into an audio video streaming internet connected smart TV. I'm sure there's things that I missed, so let me know how you make your TV smarter in the comments below. Alright, you can click here to visit last time's tutorial and comment show. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to show your support. And you can also check out my Google+, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, hack to learn. Don't learn to hack.